In this video, I'm gonna go through how to find the total electrons and the number of valence electrons in atoms on the periodic table. We're gonna learn how to do that two ways. One is by just using the periodic table, and the other way is by using electron configurations. So let's get started. First thing you have to know is that the atomic number on the periodic table is in usually the upper corner, and that is the number of protons in an atom. It is also the number of electrons in atoms because they're neutral. So the easiest thing to do is that's the total electrons. So to find the total electrons for uh, boron, it would be five because there's five protons and five electrons to make sure it's neutral. Or for example, if I had tin, it's 50 total electrons and 50 total protons to make sure it's equal. So that's how you find total electrons. So that's the easy one. The next one is valence. So let's say you only have to worry about using the periodic table. On the periodic table, the number of valence electrons is similar to the column um, number or the group number. So this has a one group number and there is one valence. This has two and then three, four, five, six, seven. Now be careful, neon through um, the last element 118 have eight, okay? But helium right here only has two valence. So you might be saying, well, what about the inside, this transition metal? They all have two valence all the way from left to right here. So scandium has two, vanadium has two, um, cobalt has two. Now why that is, you'll need to know electron configurations, so these. And then the inner transition is the same. All of these have two uh, valence, okay? So that's the first trick, is that there is a pattern on the periodic table. Now to know why that pattern exists, you need to know how to write electron configurations. But if you don't have to worry about that, then this is the fastest way. So one, two, all the way through here, they're all two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, you know, down the columns. And then helium has two, inner transition metals are all two. All right, moving on. So what if you had to calculate the number of valence and you weren't just asked to look at the periodic table, you were given an electron configuration. So the first thing is remember, if you have the nucleus of an atom and this is energy level one, this area, and there's energy level two, it's these electrons that are in the highest energy level that are considered to be valence. So here's the definition of valence instead of just the pattern. It's the electrons in the outermost level of an atom or it could be an ion. So again, that means that this is just a trick to find valence electrons. This is what it really is. They're the electrons in the outermost energy level. So let's say this is my atom. It's only this outside darker red portion. It's the number of electrons that are in that energy level. Okay, so what are you going to do if you have an electron configuration? So what if you had electron configurations, which those are really the reason why the valence electrons um, are the way they are and how many there are, okay? So the next thing is on a periodic table, there are some more patterns. So if you have to do electron configurations, these are all what are called S orbital electrons. These are um, D, F, and P, okay? I might even use a different color. That green's not coming through here. So these are, let's just even use black. So these are S, D, P, and F, okay? So there's one more pattern that you'll have to use too, is that this represents the highest energy level um, for the S and for the P electrons. Scandium actually for, uh, puts its next electron, so when you have the 21st electron, it's actually placed in a 3D. Uh, yttrium is 4D, 5D, 6D. And then these down here fill the 4F and 5F. So that's a quick little pattern um, of electron configurations, and hopefully you had a teacher who kind of went through that and how come that is the pattern. But if they didn't, that is the pattern, okay? So when you see an electron configuration, like 1s1, what that means is that has one electron, so it's um, hydrogen, and it has one valence, and this is an easy one. There's only one electron, and it has to be in the highest energy level, okay? So the other thing you might be asked is, what is that? That's um, the hydrogen atom, okay? So let's try another one. What about 1s2, 2s2, 2p3? So you could count up these upper numbers. Those are the number of electrons total. Um, or you can say that it ends with a 2p3. So I'll put the numbers on this side too. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So then the 2p3 means you are um, phosphorus, 
Oh, wait, no, it's not. Silly me. Uh, it's nitrogen. Making mistakes. It's okay. Fix them here. So that's nitrogen. So you could do this. You could say, well, then it has five. But why it has five is, again, the electrons in the outermost energy level. So let me go back to my cute little pretend atom here. This would be level one, which would have these 1s2 electrons, and then 2s2, 2p3. All of those electrons are all going to be out the second level, and all of those are called valence. So that's why the three and the two add up to uh, five. So that's why it's five. Um, and then again, it was nitrogen. So let's keep trying. At some point, you might want to try. So pause the video, and you say how many valence they have. So I'll just kind of, I made even these cards. So this last one had, um, this last one had five, okay? First one had one, okay? So see if you can figure some of these out before I tell you. So first thing would be maybe you could find what element this is. Um, if you're good at electron configurations, 3S1 would be one, two, three. So S1 um, would be here, okay? And so you would say that that's sodium, okay? But how many are actually valence? Now, if you use the little trick, it's one. Um, but really what you're looking at is this would have a third level, which is the highest, and there's only one electron in it. So the answer is one, okay? Here we go. You should probably try some. So sodium. How about this one? So you got neon, which is that noble gas core, 3s2, 3p1. So kind of look, you can, you can count up that those are the valence. So you could say there's three. You could also go one, two, three, and then P1, uh, which has three. And then last but not least, who did I point to? What element? It is, dun, 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 aluminum. So you would say aluminum has three. Okay, it should be your turn. You should try these. Here we go, try that one. It's a tougher one. So argon 4s2, 3d2, or you might see some people write it as argon 3d2, then 4s2 but it fills this way. So what would be the element? Okay, so look, 4s2, or you can do argon plus two, which is then 20, and then two more would be titanium. Okay, so it is titanium, but how many valence would it have? And the answer is two if you use the cheating technique. However, why it's two is because the 4s is a farther out energy level than the three inside of, you know, inside of these electrons being filled in these atoms. So titanium is going to have only two valence, and it can be either one of these. This one, the valence are actually on, kind of shown here. This one, they're right there, but it is two. All right, so that was a little harder. You should keep trying. See what you think of this one. So we've got an element that's out to 4P1, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and then P1. So you're going to know it's gallium, so we could say it's 3. The other way you could see it's 3 is these are the valence right here, 4s2, 4p1, again, the fourth level versus the third. You might have somebody or a teacher who writes it this way, and that's kind of nice because then the electrons are on the outside, um, but these filled um, in this order. Okay, so you'd say it has 3. All right, next one. Getting a little trickier here. So this is where we're filling into the 4f6. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's samarium. Quick answer is the valence is two. Can be either one of these. Um, but why again is it's only the six S two that count. And again, this is samarium. Either way we look at it. All right. I think this is my last one. Here we go. You should definitely try it if you haven't now. Give it a shot. I'll even show you the alternate version. Okay. So six P three. So we're at the sixth level. One, two, three, which is bismuth. So you could say five. Now, why is it five? It's actually easier with the green one. There's your six P and six S, and there's five total. Or for this one, it's a little trickier. They're kind of like here and here. Um, but in the end, it is five. So there you go. Way to go. Um, you've got the definition for um, atomic number. Let's kind of quick review. You've got the definition for your uh, valence. Um, you've got kind of a little atom picture of the fact that the valence are the outer electrons. Let's just keep knocking this stuff out. You were able to find the count of valence electrons and the total number of electrons. Thanks for watching.